Hello, everybody. I'm uh, wishing you all. Can you hear the voice as well? Yes, yes. Okay. Perfect. A very good day. I am Aravind Roy. I'm a cornea faculty at LV Prasad I Institute, Vijayawada. I have no disclosures or conflicts of interest. I would like to thank the organizers for the opportunity to share our experience on this forum. Today, we shall be discussing the role of middle-income nations to support low-income nations in developing eye banking infrastructure. Corneal blindness is the fourth leading cause of global blindness. And corneal blindness typically exists in those developing nations where resources are the least. It typically affects the younger population. Thereby, it has a huge socioeconomic burden. Corneal transplantation is central to reduce the burden of corneal blindness. And corneal transplantation itself is dependent upon the eye banking structure in the community or the country. If we take a look at this table, we see that the countries such as Ethiopia in Sub-Saharan Africa or Indonesia in Southeast Asia have much lower levels of annual corneal transplantation as compared to the United States, for example, or India. And even in countries like Brazil, where the numbers are high, they may be very much skewed around urban areas like Sao Paulo. India, if we look at as a case study in eye banking, has doubled its corneal collection in the periods of 2003 to 2012, tripled its corneal utilization rate, and the rate has improved by 46.3%. We have made significant strides in eye banking by developing our infrastructure, improving our training, and it is time that we look towards our neighbors and help them emulate our model and thereby help in the fight in reducing corneal blindness globally. If we look at the global demographics of corneal blindness, we see that most of the cornea blind live in India, Southeast Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa. And the challenges are twofold. This is either an administrative or a technical challenge. And it's important to introduce interventions at all of these levels. I would like to share our experience with colleagues at Myanmar, where we collaborated with the University of Sydney and cornea surgeons in Mandalay and Yangon. As a concerted global effort where different international NGOs, LV Prasada Institute, University of Sydney, we helped to first understand what are the causes of decreased availability of corneas, reduced corneal transplantation. We again found as we had displayed in the previous slide, very key administrative and technical points, which were the roadblocks to developing a good and robust eye banking infrastructure. And as a result of sustainable efforts over a period of year, we can see that from 2011 to 2016, there was an incremental but definitive improvement in the number of corneas that were collected by our colleagues in Myanmar, and there was a significant increase in utilization of these corneas as well. We interacted with the surgeons, with key public figures. We helped in procuring and installing equipment, training the eye bank personnel, and also interacting with surgeons online using the eco platform for sharing experiences of managing difficult and challenging cases. The key to the future lies in collaboration. And for that, we need to join hands with several like-minded NGOs world over. The service delivery areas are typically where we can intervene and make a difference. Is Sub-Saharan Africa is one region that we can immediately help colleagues. And amongst that, where some of the areas that we have trainees are those situated in Monrovia, in Liberia, where El Prasad Eye Institute is committed to developing international capacity building. Our trainees are across the nation and also the region. All in all, 
mentoring trained i bank teams nurturing sustainable i bank practices liaisoning with the government and creating public awareness and hcrt are important steps and therefore continued surgeon training appropriate selection of cases improved patient compliance all leads to better outcomes of keratoplasty and developing more sustainable eye banking practices and thereby helping in the fight of reducing the burden of global corneal blindness thank you very much for your patient hearing hello everybody and wishing you all a very good day Rakhi, can we go to the next? If Arvind, join. Can you have any comment from your side? I will see if Arvind.